item fill rate so in this lesson we'll be solving a question on item fill rate also known as order fill rate so let me read the question for you so as i mentioned in the previous lesson again i'm not giving too much details in the question uh, in actual exam you will be having a lot of detail since i'm explaining here as well so i have i haven't mentioned question in very much detail okay so let me let us start with the question and question goes something like this which has the best item fill rate for the below mts item these are the uh, so so here are different products so let me write one there is different product one and we have different products out here and we have received order for all of them so here is product one um, product two, product three, and we. This is the inventory what we have in hand, and this is. Uh, these are the different customers. Customer one, two, three, and here is the quantity of order which they have placed. Okay, so in nutshell, we have a, a product family of MTS item, product one, two, three, which have uh, inventory, and we have orders from the customer. Now we want to find out which has the best item fill rate. That is the point of discussion. So first understand what is order fill order fill rate for MTS item. So here is the important trick we need to understand. We need to read the question properly. So here if you see it is mentioned which are the best fill rate for the MTS item. So for MTS item the order fill rate is calculated based on inventory. MTS is make to stock. So in this case customer expects the product to be an inventory to be in inventory and lead time should be very less for this but suppose it's an MTO item so in that case we may check or judge or calculate the MTO item calculation based upon if we are able to supply them on time so it, it would be if we are able to ship the product on time so that would be for an MTO item for MTS we'll calculate based upon inventory okay let us get started so here, here is a definition of order fill rate. It is the percentage of total order that have been completely fulfilled via inventory. So if a customer one gives an order and this is the sequence of priority as well. Customer one, two, three. This is how we are going to serve the customer. First we'll take customer one order, customer two order, then customer three order. And we want to find out how much percentage of order is fulfilled by the current inventory. So if you see here, so again taking customer 1, 2, 3, same graph if I paste here, as, okay. so we have this. So now for customer 1, product 1 will start, we'll start, we'll discuss all the customer for the product 1, okay. Now when you start here, you have initial invent, in, inventory of 10 units, then after this, you give two units to customer one okay so eight inventory remaining so customer one is has fulfill its all demand now going to customer two so now whatever is remaining eight units and three we give to customer two coming to customer three we have five units remaining and five so till customer one two three we have for product win, we have all the customers satisfied. So here is the remark if I write. Remark is for all product we have 100% fill rate. Or yeah, 100% fill rate. Okay. Now let us go to the next one. Again, we have an inventory of 8 units and we want to give 4 units to customer 1. Then for customer 2, we have 4 units remaining after customer 1 takes its 4 units out of 8. And we give 2 units to customer 2. And now in customer 3, if you come, there are only 2 units remaining and 
customer three needs six units so here we have minus four so it's shortage of four units right so here we have only customer one and two fully satisfied so here it's only customer one and two ha have have hundred percent fill rate right only customer one and two has hundred percent fill rate now coming to third one start with this with this this one I'll do a bit faster so this one should be 7 minus okay yeah so again so again in for product 3 one unit is falling short for customer 3 so this is also um, not hundred percent satisfied. So only customer one and two are having hundred percent fill rate. So if the question is asked, which has the best fill rate? It's the product one is having the best fill rate because all the customers are satisfied with uh, the quantity of order which they have asked for, or the order which they have given, and they have hundred percent. Um, received the supply for it so which has the best um, best fill rate it's the product one product two and three customer three is not getting the uh, enough supply as requested so this is it for this lesson this is how you go about uh, fill fill rate based questions thank you and have a great day